there's something we thought about recently. Can black holes recycle the universe they already ate, eventually leading to the formation of entire new universes? Black holes die just like everything else, apparently. And surprisingly enough, they might even explode. But it takes a while. A black hole is formed when a massive star collapses under its own gravitational force, resulting in an extremely dense object known as a singularity. This singularity is surrounded by an event horizon, a point of no return beyond which anything that enters the black hole cannot escape. Most people think that black holes just sit there and eat everything on their way. That's partially true. Black holes eat a lot. The amount of matter that black holes consume or accrete depends on several factors, including the size of the black hole and the surrounding environment. Smaller black holes with masses similar to that of our sun can accrete matter from nearby stars and gas clouds. This process can result in the emission of X-rays and other high-energy radiation as the matter heats up and becomes denser as it falls into the black hole. Supermassive black holes, which have masses millions to billions of times that of the Sun, are typically found at the centers of galaxies and consume stars, gas, and dust. In some cases, supermassive black holes can merge with other black holes, and all this accretion causes a black hole to grow. But not all of the matter that falls into a black hole is accreted. Some of it can be ejected back into the surrounding environment in the form of powerful outflows known as jets. The amount of matter that's accreted versus ejected can depend on various factors, including the spin and magnetic field of the black hole, as well as the surrounding environment. But black holes don't just eat, they also lose mass. And there comes a point when there's nothing to consume, so they just keep losing mass until they eventually die. The concept of a black hole's death was first proposed by Stephen Hawking in 1974. Until recently, it was believed that once something entered a black hole, it would be lost forever, never to be seen again. However, according to Hawking's theory, black holes emit particles, known as Hawking radiation, due to quantum mechanical effects near the event horizon. This causes a gradual loss of mass for the black hole, eventually leading to its complete evaporation. But this takes billions of years for even the smallest black holes. The Hawking radiation theory challenges the long-held belief that information can never be lost, as the complete evaporation of a black hole would result in the loss of information about the objects that it has consumed. This has been referred to as the information paradox and is still a topic of active research and debate among scientists. What's mind-boggling is that the death of black holes has implications for the future of the universe. As black holes evaporate, they release energy back into the universe, which could potentially play a role in shaping the future of the cosmos. One concept that explains what might happen to the universe in the distant future is the Big Freeze Theory, also known as the Heat Death Scenario. According to this theory, the universe will continue to expand at a slower pace, eventually leading to a state of maximum entropy in which there are no remaining sources of energy or heat. The Big Freeze scenario is based on the laws of thermodynamics, which dictate that in a closed system, the total amount of energy remains constant, while the amount of available energy decreases over time. In this scenario, all the stars in the universe will eventually run out of fuel, causing them to cool down and fade away. Black holes will be all that remains before the universe enters heat death. You might think the universe is now dark and almost empty, and there's nothing to be consumed by black holes. So in a gazillion years, even black holes will fade away through Hawking radiation and nothing will be left behind. But there's something we thought about recently. How can nothing be left if black holes are emitting some form of radiation back into the universe? Can black holes recycle the universe they already ate and create a new cosmic cycle? Imagine that the universe is not just made up of physical matter, but also of a mysterious and powerful energy known as quintessence. This energy can be harnessed and used to create new universes, stars, and galaxies. In this scenario, the matter emitted from black holes through Hawking radiation carries with it not just ordinary matter, but also a small amount of quintessence. 
This matter and quintessence should then go on to seed new regions of space, where they combine and form the building blocks of new galaxies and stars. Over time, these new galaxies and stars attract more matter and quintessence, eventually leading to the formation of entire new universes. In this way, the matter emitted from black holes through Hawking radiation becomes the building blocks of new and vibrant cosmological structures, starting a new cosmic cycle. In this scenario, black holes could be seen as the engines of cosmic creation, transforming the matter they consume into the building blocks of new universes. The cycle of death and rebirth that occurs within black holes would be a vital part of the ongoing evolution of the universe, providing the seeds for new life and new cosmological structures. This idea might even relate somehow to conformal cyclic cosmology, a theory of cosmology proposed by Sir Roger Penrose, a mathematical physicist. The theory suggests that the universe is cyclical, with each cycle beginning with a Big Bang and ending with a Big Crunch, followed by a new Big Bang. We've talked about this in a previous video, which I will link below. However, this scenario that black holes can recycle matter and create a new universe is just an idea, and we invite you all to give us your thoughts about this in the comments below. While the exact process and details of black hole evaporation are still not fully understood, it's clear that the death of black holes will play a significant role in shaping our understanding of the cosmos and its future. As scientists continue to study this phenomenon, we can expect to learn even more about the mysteries of black holes and the universe as a whole. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.